I'm going to be putting a tail bandage on Rocky. There's several reasons why we use a tail bandage, mainly to protect the tail if the horse is traveling, in which case you wouldn't want to leave the tail bandage on for an excessive amount of time. So around two to three hours would be thought of plenty. The other reason would be if the horse has a shaped or pulled tail to help try and maintain the shape of the tail. So firstly, we make sure the horse is relaxed. He's eating a hay net, which is distracting him, which is lovely. I'm going to dampen the tail using a damp sponge and you can use a damp water brush if you want to. The reason I'm doing that is it helps with the grip of the tail bandage when we first start. Good boy. So having damped his tail, I'm then going to get the bandage. It's a stretchy bandage for a tail bandage. Really important, it's got some elastic in it and that will help with the grip. And when we apply the tail bandage, it's important to apply it so that you're holding the bandage like this. That way, as you wrap the bandage around the tail, that we're applying it in that fashion so that it helps with the tension. So standing to the side, I'm quietly lifting his tail. So I place the tail over my shoulder. And the reason I do this is to try and help me get the bandage secured high enough so that the bandage comes across the spare flap which then tucks down and then making sure that's secure I then work my way as quickly as I can keeping the bandage tension even all the way down the length of the tail however we do stop at the end of the tailbone and it's important that the bandage does go as far as the bottom of the tailbone because of it being elastic. Otherwise, it would be similar to having an elastic band stuck on the end of your finger. So having secured the bandage that far, we then work our way back up and we try and make sure that we finish approximately a third of the way down. Then with the tapes, we bring the tapes, keeping the tapes nice and flat. And again, that shows that we keep the pressure even. And we very quietly and quickly do the tapes up at the side of the tail. And the reason we tie it at the side is in case the horse leans back and rubs it on a trailer or a lorry if he's traveling and it could cause a pressure point. So there. I'm now going to show how to take the tail bandage off. It's important that we do this quickly and efficiently. So we start off by undoing the ties and then making sure that once the ties are undone, we then gently pull from both sides the tail bandage off in one long, slow movement. And then use our hand just to stroke over the tail, make sure the hairs are comfy. Now, one thing that's very important with bandaging is to make sure that we know how to roll a bandage up. If you don't roll a bandage up properly, then you can find it's really difficult to get the tension correct. And we need to have the tapes lying the right way. So get the tapes, make sure that it's flat against you, and then you can quickly use your fingers to help keep the tapes flat. Then turn the tapes and then roll the bandage inwards. And you do that to start with. Then you want to get the tension on the bandage. So you stretch the bandage as you then roll the bandage. And this will help keep that important tension. So that when you next go to use the bandage, the tension is there and it'll help you when you're putting the bandage on. And you'll find the more you do it, the more practiced you'll become at quickly and efficiently rolling up bandages, ready for use.